Okay, so now that you understand a little bit about um, keys, I want to talk about a, um, a concept that I don't even know if it really has a proper name, but um, I call it um, I call it pushing values to open up the drawing, right? So let's say we're working real logically with our value scale up here, and uh, I've worked in my drawing a little bit, and I have a ton of white space like I do now. Um, and I've got some little, some mid-tones and some light tones, and I've been kind of just like really going, going lightly uh, to the drawing. Um, what happens there is that I've compressed the value scale that I'm, that I'm working on. I'm working on zero to five, right? Uh, so my limitations are pretty great. And well, yeah, that can, that can make you very creative within those, those values. Um, at some point you're going to get frustrated because um, you're not creating like the realism that you want or the look that you want. And one thing to look for when you're running into that problem is is this range of values. And you're just saying, well, have like have I used my darkest dark and my lightest light? Do I have like the full range? So uh, what you're going to do then is if you work to five and you want to stay conservative with it, you might extend the range down to like seven. Okay, um, and then work in that for a while, and then say, well, I'm still frustrated with the drawing. Let's just go ahead and put the darkest dark down and go from there. So every time you, you push your darkest dark and your lightest light, um, you're creating more space to work, work in. So these values are kind of getting pulled apart. Um, so if I take this area of the drawing, I've worked from, from high to the mid-tones. And what I really need to do is start to uh, start to put in uh, put in some darks there, um, just to start getting uh, getting the drawing in the right range where it needs to be. So if I push this area into where into the the dark that it kind of should be, and here I'm working at this is about like value eight of ten maybe. Now, because I've pushed this value down, it makes all of this look that much lighter. So that means I have to go through the whole thing and push all the values down, right? Even before I'm really working into, into any detail. And this is a, this is a really important concept to keep in mind. Um, so pushing a value down in a certain place to kind of judge where all your others uh, should lie. And I'm drawing from a photograph here, which is not really preferable, but uh, so what I have to do to compensate for this being a, a photograph is um, I actually have to uh, assume that there are more values in reality than I can see in this photograph. So I have to kind of um, uh, improvise a little bit and, uh, and create a greater value range that I can see especially in the dark, because this photograph is kind of exposed for mid-tones and, and highlights. So you can see now that I've pushed that value down to an eight, and I've worked around. I'm uh, I'm starting to get this uh, get this going somewhere. Uh, there's a lot of work to be done, uh, surely, but uh, you know it's uh, it's on its way. So whenever you push out, push down a value like this, it also pushes the highlights further apart. So what darkening does is it gives you more uh, more to work with in your uh, in your highlights and, uh, and midtones. 
so it opens up opens up room for you to, to play in not just the darks. So I'm kind of seeing under this wing that there's a this bit of wing right here. There's a there's a pretty dark dark spot. So I want to get that pushed down pretty far. This I'm seeing is like a as a ten on my value scale. So uh, you'll notice that. What that just did is uh, it made the eights that I just filled in look pretty light. So that gives me some room to play and uh, and put some uh, some details into the uh, into the shadow area, which is cool. So one of the things that happens when when you're drawing is your eyes kind of get adjusted to, to what you're looking at. So um, if you're working in an area pretty intensely, it's good to, to take a break um, and go work on something else. Um, block in some, some details or some other values. Start to hint where your next range of darks is going to be. All right, so uh, yeah, that's uh, that's all I really want to say about pushing uh, pushing values. You can see how that works, um, uh, and we'll I'll keep on with this drawing so you kind of see it develop, and you can see that concept at work uh, all the time. Um, so let's move on.